The next slide shows a comparison between different column chromatographies. First, the ion exchange chromatography is based on the principle of charge properties of the molecules and their affinity to ion exchangers. The stationary phase used for ion exchange chromatography are ion exchangers, which may be cationic or anionic depending upon the type of molecule to be separated. Mobile phase includes a buffer solution with gradient elution, that is a buffer of increasing salt concentration is used step by step. And the type of sample for ion exchange chromatography should contain ions. Gel filtration chromatography is based on the size and molecular weight of the molecules. Stationary phase for gel filtration chromatography is a porous gel polymer forming pores of different sizes. Mobile phase usually includes buffer solution with isocratic elution. That is a single type of buffer is used. The sample for gel filtration chromatography should contain molecules of varying size or molecular weight. Affinity chromatography is based on the property of specific and non-covalent binding of molecules to ligands. Stationary phase includes packing of matrix with ligands via spacer arm. Mobile phase includes solution containing competing ligand or buffer solution with varying pH or ionic concentration that weakens the interaction between the target molecule and the ligand. The sample for affinity chromatography should contain components that should interact with the ligand, such as antibody-antigen interaction, enzyme and substrate interaction, and enzyme and inhibitor interactions. High-performance liquid chromatography pumps a sample mixture in a solvent at high pressure through a packed column. Stationary phase depends upon the type of HPLC, like for normal phase, the stationary phase is polar silica particles, for reversed phase it is non-polar silica particles, for ion exchange it uses ion exchangers which may be cationic or anionic, for size exclusion it uses a porous gel polymer of different pore sizes, for affinity it uses packing of matrix with ligands via spacer arm. Mobile phase again depends upon the type of HPLC to be carried out. For normal phase, it uses non-polar solvent. For reversed phase, it uses polar solvent. For ion exchange chromatography, it uses buffer solution with gradient elution. For size exclusion, it uses again buffer solution but with isocratic elution. And for affinity chromatography, it uses solution containing competing ligands or buffer solutions with varying pH or ionic concentration. Type of sample also depends upon the type of HPLC to be carried out. In gas chromatography, the sample solution injected into the instrument enters a gas stream which transports the sample into a column. The stationary phase depends upon the type of column to be used, like for packed conventional columns. Stationary phase like polyethylene glycol is coated on a support which is packed into the column. In capillary or open tubular columns, like wall-coated open tubular, the stationary phase such as polyethylene glycol, methyl and phenyl polysiloxanes is coated on column's wall. In case of porous layer open tubular column, stationary phases like alumina, silica gel or molecular sieves is attached to the capillaries inner wall. Whereas in case of support coated open tubular columns, liquid stationary phase is coated onto the support matrix attached to the capillary's inner wall. The mobile phase includes an inert gas. In case of packed conventional columns, nitrogen is mainly used. In case of capillary open tubular columns, helium or argon is preferred. The sample for gas chromatography should not contain ions. So now we are on the last slide of our presentation. And let's have a quick review. Based on the purpose of use, chromatography can be categorized as analytical or preparative. In analytical, only analysis of sample is done, whereas in preparative, the separated components are collected also for further use. Analytical chromatography includes analysis both qualitatively and quantitatively. In qualitative analysis, only the presence or absence of compound can be observed. Whereas in quantitative analysis, along with the presence, the quantity of the specific component can also be calculated. Analytical chromatography is usually done using planar chromatography, whereas preparative chromatography is usually done using column chromatographies. Now based on the method of holding the stationary phase, chromatography can be categorized as planar chromatography and column chromatography. 
Planar chromatography is further categorized into two types, thin layer chromatography and paper chromatography. Thin layer chromatography also has a variant which is high performance thin layer chromatography or HPTLC. Column chromatography includes ion exchange chromatography which is further of two types cationic exchange chromatography which separates cations from the sample mixture or anion exchange chromatography which separates anions from the sample mixture. Gel filtration chromatography which can carry out group separations into high or low molecular weight compounds or high resolution fractionation where multiple components in a sample can be separated on the basis of differences in their molecular size. Affinity chromatography which may include monospecific ligands for specific separation of a single substance or a group specific ligands for separation of a group of structurally or functionally similar substances. High performance liquid chromatography which may be normal phase where stationary phase is polar and mobile phase is non-polar or reversed phase where the stationary phase is non-polar and the mobile phase is polar or high performance ion exchange chromatography or size exclusion chromatography or affinity chromatography and the gas chromatography. With this we wind up the topic of the chromatographic separation. For any doubts and queries you can contact me through the given email id. Thank you.